I'd like to remove the shroud of mystery and confusion around speedometer calibration. Getting a Dakota Digital Instrument System speedometer dialed in takes just a few minutes with no laptop or engineering degree required. We've been using these methods for over 20 years, and while simple, they just plain work. Your odometer accumulates based on the speed input, so it's wise to calibrate the system shortly after installation. You can always readjust the speedometer to account for tire or gear changes in the system, so an accurate speedometer is always a simple reality. This video will outline the AutoCal and Adjust methods of speedometer calibration. This would apply to any instrument system using the supplied speed sensor or an ECM VSS output. In short, any system not using an OBD2 or CAN interface or a GPS module from Dakota Digital. We're going to calibrate the speed in this VHX system, but the process carries through to VFD3, Digital, as well as HDX and RTX series systems. The AutoCal procedure requires you drive the vehicle a measured mile, such as distance between section roads or highway mile markers. Before you calibrate the speedometer, ensure you've got the control box connected to your VSS source properly. If you're using the speed sensor that came with your kit, simply match the harness wire colors to the appropriate control box terminals. If your ECM has a VSS output for the speedometer, connect it to the speed send terminal. First, enter the setup menu by holding switch 1 while starting the engine. HDX systems can enter setup by holding both switches with the engine already running. Once the engine is fired up and the system is in setup, speed should be the first submenu. Hold switch 1 again to enter speed. Now you can tap the switch to scroll through the submenus until you see auto. Hold the switch to select auto. VHX systems will read speed pulses 0. VFD3 systems will display cal with the odometer reading all zeros. HDX and RTX systems will show auto cal drive 1 mile. Begin driving your mile. If you've connected the VSS source properly, the pulses should be increasing in the message center. Since we're just counting pulses, vehicle speed does not matter during this step, and don't panic if you have to stop. Just don't back up and don't spin the tires or you'll skew the reading. At the end of the mile, tap switch one again. The system should reset and begin functioning in normal mode with an accurate speedometer. For small adjustments in the speed calibration, you can use the adjust mode. Hold switch 1 while firing the engine to enter the setup menu, enter speed, and then look for adjust. Hold the switch to select and start driving. Use a GPS or pace another vehicle with a verified speedometer and use switch 1 to move your speedo up or down. Each time you press and hold the switch, the reading will increase or decrease. Pull over and restart the system to save the new calibration. You can recalibrate your speedometer as often as you like, so if you change the rear tires or upgrade gear ratios, an accurate speedometer reading is just a few minutes away. Your odometer and trip meters will also be accurate, so you can check miles per gallon while keeping Johnny Law at bay.